Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm John Campbell, the Not So Neat Chef. I'm speaking low because uh, the house is still asleep. It's early. I had to prepare some chicken thighs for another recipe. What I was doing is deboning some chicken thighs and I'll, and I'll leave a link for that at the end of this video. Um, but never wanting to waste anything, what I wanted to do is just have a quick video on making a chicken stock with the bones. So what we have here is the bones from five pounds of chicken. What I have here is a large carrot, two stalks of celery, and uh, half an onion. Um, this could roughly chop. Flavor wise, also we're going to have a couple bay leaves. We're going to have a little bit of sage. We have some rosemary, some thyme, and about four cloves of garlic. Okay, what we'll do is we'll bring this up to a light boil, then bring the temperature down to a light simmer. Add water as you need it. Um, it's real simple, so this is going to be a real, real short video. Now, don't worry about the um, the thyme and the rosemary being whole because we're going to we'll just strain it out. Let's see if I can get the rest of this in. We're going to put the heat on a medium high until it starts to boil. I'm just going to add a little salt now, but we can salt it more later. A good pinch, and that should do. Now it's a waiting game. It started to come up to a boil, so now I turned it down to low. And you'll see, for lack of a better term, um, scum on the top. Now you could use a, a spoon to spoon that off. I have this strainer. It's a very fine mesh strainer that works great for stuff like this. I use that, I use this when I make uh, pho to skim off the fat and that recipe I'll also leave in the description. So I cleared it off a little bit and it smells fantastic so far. Alright, I think uh, this is pretty much it. This is going for about uh, two hours. You can see how much it's reduced. I haven't been putting any water in it. Um, I think it's pretty much done. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to turn this off. We're going to pass it through a strainer. And we're going to put it in a container so we can put it in the fridge. Now you can put it in the fridge for overnight. And then in the morning you can scoop off the any fat that comes to the top. I'm not that interested in scooping off the fat. I will tell you though, um, while this was cooking down, periodically I would taste it and season it with salt. So I wound up putting a little bit of salt in it, some pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder. Taste it as it's, as it's cooking down and you season it how you want it. You know, there's no right, there's no wrong way.
Okay, so there you have it. Didn't make much, but you know we're we're only talking bones from five pounds, and um, basically that's between eight and ten. I didn't count them, but usually when you get a family pack of chicken thighs, it's eight to th uh, eight to ten thighs. So you know um, if you do this often and you cook the thighs often, and you really should because they're only ninety nine cents a pound. Um, you can always freeze them. When you get a whole bunch of bones, then you can do this and make uh, make a bigger batch. But this will make a small batch. This will be good for a little little soup in the uh, in the winter time. And what I'll do is, is I'll uh, I'll freeze this, and um, I'll have it ready for when I need it. Any type of chicken. Uh, you buy a rotisserie chicken from the store. You know, try making a small batch. There's still a little bit of flavor left in those bones. Um, any chicken, you know, that you might debone or chicken wings or any leftover chicken. It's real easy to make. You make it in, you know, if you make a big batch, you throw some, some noodles in it. Um, and just make a regular chicken soup. Or you use it for any recipe that calls for chicken stock. So, I hope you like this. Um, I'd appreciate uh, comments, like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification. Uh, I'm trying to put out uh, many videos. I'm trying to put out at least one a week. It doesn't always work out that way, but I've been averaging about five a month. So, anyway, for now, this is John Campo, the Not So Neat Chef. I'd like to thank you for stopping by.